one very important component of uh, becoming a musical drummer is develop a great sense of time and be able to communicate that strong sense of time to the rest of the people you play with and ultimately to the audience as a collective effort. One thing that I've learned over the years is that practicing with a metronome uh, has definitely um, been a great asset in developing better timing skills. But when you're on the bandstand, unless you're using a sequenced track, you become actually the metronome, the cushion and the foundation for the rest of the group. So you need somehow to translate that metronomic pulse in a musical way and give it to the rest of the band and then all together give it back to the audience. How do you do that? Well, there is one very good exercise which is learning how to play a steady pulse with one of your limbs. And usually the hi-hat or the bass drum or both are definitely the ones you want to use to create that bottom foundation. It does require a little bit of coordination at first, but ultimately it becomes your best friend and it helps to glue together all your musical idea. I'm going to take a pattern in 16 notes between the ride and the snare drum and use the hi-hat as a pulse. Whether I played the hi-hat on the beat or off the beat, that is only a detail that relates to the sty stylistical uh, interpretation and the, the music you're playing. But other than that, that consistency in the hi-hat keeps all of the other ideas, the embellishment and fills ideas that I've played around the drums, much more uh, united together and, and uh, in a musical flo floating way. Another uh, way you could do that at home as your technique and uh, coordination improves is to spice up the uh, parts that you play with your feet, with your bass drum and hi-hat, so that depending on which style you play, you have more ideas to still create a musical statement while keeping this beat consistent together. Here is what uh, a contemporary <clears throat> rock funk beat might sound if we play eight notes on the hi-hat.
to summarize, we have just utilized so far the single stroke role, and yet we have discovered that so many musical combinations are possible by exploring dynamics, superimposing accents, and moving these notes around the drum set. And this is going to work whether you have a four-piece set or a monster double bass set with five toms and four floor toms, perhaps. It's all about you. It's all about starting from a very simple idea and taking your time and exploring how that idea could become a musical statement just by applying it and devoting time in making it a musical statement. So have fun, take your time, and uh, enjoy.